So we've got a bit of downtime now here at Donington. So I thought what I'd do is talk you through the car. So obviously, makes sense, start with the steering wheel. You've got your nine and three positions uh, with your paddle shifts behind. So you've got down gears, and then up gears on your right hand side. There's also uh, buttons on the steering wheel for neutral, reverse, the pit limiter, resetting the alarms. And the steering wheel itself actually comes away. You can just pick it up. So there it is, that's the steering wheel. It's connected electronically through to the dashboard on this little cable, um, which when you're racing, um, sort of moves around with the steering wheel. So actually, you've got a lot of play and a lot of freedom. The next thing really is all the data on the dashboard over here. So probably the most important thing is this, the uh, VBOX race logic feedback. So this tells me what time each lap is doing. So every time I cross the finish line, this updates and it tells me what time my last lap was. Because when the pit boards are out, as you drive past, they always put the leader's time on and you're sort of saying, okay, so I'm seven tenths off what the leader's doing. I know I need to pick it up. We've also got a series of buttons which as you can see, you know, we've got ignition, we've got start. This button here is actually the throttle map. Within the setup of the car, there's different throttle maps. So we can have one that's very forgiving at the top end of the throttle. So if you're coming out of a hairpin and you don't you don't want the sort of the back end to come round on you and have to correct it, you can choose a softer throttle map that will allow you a bit more before you put the foot down, which means that you've got a bit of a more forgiving bias on the accelerator, which is great. The rest of it, we've got the obvious things. Lights, high beam, rain lights, wipers, indicators if you you know, you know want to let somebody behind you know you've got an issue and they're free to come past you or tell them that you're coming in the pits. There's the full course yellow button here, so it actually automatically slows the car down to a full course yellow pace. And that's something I only found out yesterday. I did not know that, so that's this button right here. Um, we've got um, the AC as well, so you could have air keeping you a bit cooler than you would normally be because these cars get insanely hot over 40 degrees centigrade. Um, this is the brake bias. So this allows me to choose whilst I'm driving whether I want the brakes to be further towards the front or further towards the rear. You want a bit more towards the brakes on the front if you're into a hairpin, let's say. Whereas if you're going through, let's say, a fast section of track, it might be better if the car was set up with a bit less bias towards the front and actually gives you a bit more towards the rear so that it's a smoother braking um, situation rather than just uh, locking up of the brakes, which is a nightmare. This brake bias allows you to make sure you're setting up the car to the way you want to drive and the way that you have been driving. And that's why practice sessions are so important. If I turn the uh, master switch on now, you'll see the dashboard come to life and that's going to start showing me data. We've got the, the main MoTeC, which gives me um, the actual information on the dash as we go along. We're clear, there's nobody around, so we could actually start the engine. And we're raised off the ground on the stilts right now, but if I press the accelerator, you should be able to see the dashboard move. Now, I won't rev it to this limit, but across the top are these lights. And when you rev the engine very, very hard, that is exactly when you'll get green lights, green lights, amber lights, and then when the two in the middle go red, the whole lot light up red, and that tells you change gear. So I've knocked the engine off so we don't waste any fuel and noise because it just irritates everybody. Um, but within the actual MoTeC here, if I click this button while I'm driving, which is just says page, that takes you to more information. So we've got coolant temperature, we've got engine speed, we've got the battery voltage, we've got the manifold temperature, the manifold pressure, differential oil temperature, gearbox temperature, engine oil pressure, engine oil uh, temperature, and all of these things I need to be aware of when I'm sort of in the middle of a race. You might have seen this big red luminous bottle here. This is the fire extinguisher, massively important. And every time we go out, we have to make sure and ensure that this pin is released and pulled so that in the event of a fire, there's easy access. We've also got something up here, which is known as um, the comms. So basically when I'm driving, I can have my coach in with me. My coach can be sat in the uh, passenger seat and through these little wires here, they will connect into our helmets. So there's one for the passenger as well. And then we can talk to each other through the helmet as we go along. So that's a massively important thing when you, you're, you're learning and you're training. Now, the other thing that's so important when you're learning and you're training and you, you're getting tuition and coaching is the V-Box. 
and you put in an SD card and that provides you with all the data and some of the video footage that you might have already seen on the channel is from inside the cameras and you can see those cameras just here. So here's one of them pointing forward. So this is the camera that points down the track and actually shows you uh, where you are, where's your positions, where's your lines, what's going on and all of that. So these things are massively important uh, as well um, as just the actual controls of controlling the car because it, it's more than just running the car. There's lots and lots of things to think about. Now I hope that has given you an interesting view of um, the inside of the car which you might not have seen before. Now that I'm a bit more familiar with it I feel much more comfortable in showing you around. Um, so I hope that was interesting um, and obviously if you guys have got any comments or if you've got any questions about anything on the uh, on the car itself or the way the inside works I'd love to hear and I'd, I'd happily answer any questions that anyone's got.